How is it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Ranked Report. Uh, this week we are using a pretty interesting trick room team um, that I found on Twitter. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the person who made the team but I will link their Twitter in the description uh, if you want to go check them out. Um, so, as you can see, it revolves around Calyrex Ice as the restricted Pokemon uh, with Mimikyu. So there's a strategy there where you've got side sneak weakness policy on Calyrex and then you just spam Glacial Lance. Um, You've got Specsfini, which is interesting, stops uh, things from like burning Calyrex, um, it's kind of useful. Um, instant standard, Lecky is pretty standard, uh, gives you a fast mode. And then Lurantis is the most interesting pick here. Um, now Lurantis is, is like an incineral repellent, basically, because if you look at the trick room mode here, Feeny beats Incin, but otherwise like Mimikyu doesn't really do anything to Incin, Calyrex doesn't appreciate Incin being around. But Lurantis has Contrary, which means that when Incin switches in, it gets an attack boost instead of an attack drop. That plus superpower means it boosts its attack every single time that it, it hits superpower. Um, decent stab move in Leaf Blade, Night Slash for coverage, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's an interesting Pokemon, I'm interested to see how well it does. Um, yeah, this is a pretty hard Trick Room team, um, for the most part. Um, Mimikyu is almost guaranteed to get Trick Room up, I think, most of the time. Um, there are very few ways you can stop Mimikyu getting up Trick Room if it's got a Mental Hub. Um, if it's next like an Incineroar or something, uh, with Fake Out. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting team to, to try, so let's jump into the battles. Um, that's my 100th battle this season, Just look at that. Um, yeah. Where did I put it? Where is it? Uh, no, 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 there it is. Um, A few things I could see potentially being slightly problematic. This thing like Stack Attacker, I think, could be a problem because I don't really want to set Trick Room up on that. I know Specs Feeny does well into that, um, into the locate into it. You've got Superpower on um, Durantus to deal with it, but if it gets in the right position, it could potentially be a bit of a problem. Ooh, number 16, Christ. Right, have you got Double Genie? Hmm. Can I just do Mimi Rex here? Um, oh, this Aleki would be so nice in this game if it was Sash. But as is, it's kind of a bit stuck because it can just get outsped. Um, I can't really leave it. I think I have to leave Mimikyu here and get Trick Room up. I think it's my only real option. I could go Mimi Insin. The problem is if they lead Ogre, Insin just dies immediately. What about Mimi Lorantis? Mimi Feeny. I'm going to make me Feeny, I'm going to bring Calyrex, I don't think I've written into this one, I think I'm going to go Lurantis. This game, I'm hard depending on getting Trick Room up. Do I bring a Leckie as a back-end Pokemon in case Trick Room doesn't go up here? It's an option. Mm. Ooh, Urshvi's kind of a problem, yeah, I should have led... Mm. Urshvi's a problem here, I don't know if Mimikyu's bulky enough to stop Urshvi from killing me, is the issue. Uh. Like, I could trade one for one with the Urshu and then try and set up Trick Room with um, Calyrex, but. Mm, I don't know. I'd be surprised if this isn't Urshu Leaf. They could land an Incin. That's interesting. What are they going for here? I think I get free Trick Room here, right? And then I can just what, scold Incin? Are here. I mean, they do. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna scold the incineral. Earth power. Unless they've got some secret Mimikyu killer on their incin, I think I'm fine. Spec scold's gonna look, do a lot of damage here. How much damage, I wonder? It's Pasho Berry? I have not seen Pasha variants in ever, I don't think. Like nothing. Jesus. That's so that's Specs Feeny. How's that so bulky? Oh, it's in such a plague. Um I thought it would have been absolutely brilliant if I'd switched in Lorantis there. <laughs> I could have maybe called that actually. I could have called that and switched and just hard switched Lorantis, but that puts me in a bit of a weird spot against Lando. 
Um, Dark Ursh, okay. I get TR up. I mean, I have the option to play her off the Ursh through here, right? Yeah. So I could just play her off Scold into this slot, I don't hate. Or I could just switch I think I prefer switching Calyrex here, honestly. I don't think I'm under too much threat. He switches out. In comes Cali. <laughs> Unless they double the Feeny this turn, but I don't know if they'd do that. Um, they withdraw Ursh. Probably back into Insin. That's fine, I think. Um, like, Calyrex is still putting on a whole load of pressure uh, to this Lando. I'll get a bit of chip on Insin as well. It's not, not irrelevant. Slide bomb into Cali. This should do nothing. Don't poison. Oh, it can't poison the Shearfalls. Um. <laughs> do I switch back into my Feeny here? Or do I switch Lorantis? Um. I think I need to save my Feeny for the back end, so I'm going to switch into Lorantis. Do I just go for a Lance? I'm just going to horsepower the Insin, I think. It just forces the fake out. I'm not that scared of Landorus' damage output here. Um, which is why I'm, like, if they don't fake me out here, then I call their bluff and I... I don't know if horsepower kills Insin in this range, but we'll put it close, certainly. They hard switch their Lando, yep. They bring in Ogre. Interesting, okay. Um, oh, there's a problem, isn't it? They fake out into... Okay, they do fake out my Cali. That's fine. Um, okay. How many times left in Trick Room? Two. So I think I can kind of pin the Ogre here, right? I need a Leaf Blade and... I'm tempted to Lance here. I don't think I'm that scared of anything Incense doing. Yeah, I'm just going to Lance. I don't want to get caught out by a lander or a switch here, is the main thing. Um, like this is just guaranteed damage on whatever comes in. The hard switch Ogre into... Nothing's going to take this that well. Oh, Lando's dead. Lando's dead, dead. He played, doesn't do very much, but Glacial Lance pick up. Um. Jump. Okay, goodbye. That does an unreasonable amount to Incineroar. No crit was on Lando as well. That shouldn't do that much when it's intimidated. Okay, get my Chilling May boost. I could have also read a defensive option there um, from the Ogre and just gone for, um, what am I saying? Read a defensive option on Ogre and gone for, what are the words that I'm thinking of? Read a defensive option on Kyogre and gone for, for, gone for Super Power into Insin is what I should have, I could have done there potentially. Um, I feel like the fact they didn't bring an ogre here says to me that their ogre is probably Scarf. Which I can abuse, I think. Um, I think once Incin goes down, I'm in good shape, so I'm just going to double into the Incin slot. Um, they fake out into Grantis, that makes sense. But I get a big horse kick. Crit did not matter. I think they probably go after Lorantis here, actually. Yeah. So it's scared of a Feeny switch. Okay, crit me. Now just goes down. And now I get Feeny for free. Um. I think I just press Gleam here, right? Um, 
Pretty sure Phoenix shouldn't go down to any combination of attacks from these two. Can I, just, uh, I can't protect Cali here though, because they wicked blow me. Um, is it worth sacking Mini here though? I guess is the question. Red Gleam. Shadow Sneak could potentially be really useful here. I, I think, given that there's an Urshifu here and I can't protect that slot against Urshifu for two turns in a row, I think it's better that I just go for um, a Glacial Lancer, honestly. Like, they always Wicked Blow the Calyrex slot, I think. Um, they Wicked Blow the Feeny? Oh, I could have protected. Yeah, Spout will pick up. Well, will pick up the Calyrex. It picks up Feeny as well? Is that a crit? That must be. That wasn't a crit. Wow. I am so surprised that killed. Well, now I don't win. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's one thing with hard trick from teams, I find. Um, also, I'm, like, I'm not amazing at piloting them, but I, like, I find a lot of the time, if you first trick room, if you don't get enough mileage off it, you're just kind of dead. So you have to play hyper-aggressive for the first um, first few turns. Which, again, I could have done by trying to take out the Insin um, early game. Like, I don't think I care if this Witch and Lander is there. Yeah, I just put myself out of position against Kyogre. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have brought a Lecky. Yeah, Lecky back in would have been quite nice there. But I guess I don't know what I would have brought it instead of. Because I don't really want to bring it to the Feeny in this matchup. I guess maybe instead of Lorantis. Lorantis is my best, best threat to Kyogre in the Trick Room. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, who have we got next? Another Kyogre team, Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a Mimikyu lead again. Um, and again, I go for Trick Room. I th do I bring Feeny to this? They do have double grass. Um, I don't bring Calyrex. I, I, I don't think this is an Insane game. Actually, what's my moves out on Insane here? Okay. What a great ID number. Um, I just give Mimi Instant. No, Mimi Instant just dies to Kyogre is the issue. I could go Mimi Feeny again, I think. Uh, actually, I don't have Fake Out. I could go Mimi Aleki. I don't hate that. Yeah, I think I go Mimi Aleki here. And then go Lorantis Calyrex. I'm going to do this. Um. Learn my lesson from the first time. Uh, I guess I need to be very careful of Scarf Ogre onto Tailwind. But I can just protect um, Lucky Turn 1 to Scout for something like that. Um, if they lead Whims and Ogre. Because so if I lead. Oh, I could also lead like Insina Lucky to try and pin a Kyogre. Hmm. They do just go Ogre Wimps, okay. Um, I don't think they sign, try and set Tailwind here, right? Like, they've got to be scared of so many factors. RTR here. They've got to be scared of Sasha Lecky. They've got to be scared of um, Trick Room. Or Protect on a Lecky, potentially. Do I just protect Lecky? What can they switch in that would make this difficult? I think I just want to go aggro her. If, if Lecky drops, then I get Laurentis in for free. I just think I'm okay with. Um, question is, who do I bounce off of? I think I'd rather bounce off of the um, Whims, to be honest. I think it's more guaranteed. I'm pretty sure Kyogre doesn't stay in, right? Okay, they protect. That's also fine. Um, Whims. That's so much damage. 
God damn Reggie, like he's broken. Um, cool. Uh, and then we get in Lorantis. So they're probably going to Moonblast my Mimic you uh, to break the sub, I would presume. Oh, sorry, break the uh, disguise. Yeah. Oh, they tried to break a Sash on Aleki, that also makes sense. Ooh, special attack boost, let's go. Uh, that special attack boost is just so meaningless. Mimic you keeps disguise up, which is big. That's really, really big. Um, so I think what I do now is I just. Go for mini switch into Kali, and then I leaf blade the ogre. I think is the player because keeping Mimikyu's disguise intact is really useful for being able to set up the trick room again later if I need to. Um, an ogre can't really stay in there, can it? Okay, ogre switches. I don't really mind that too much. Bring in Pharaoh. Eh, it's a little projected, but whatever. They protect limbs, I do not care. Leafed blade. Um, big damage. That was a crit as well. <laughs> the double resist for you. Um, I don't think Ferrothorn can knock out Lorantis from here, so I'm just going to go for Glacial Lance and Superpower. I don't think there's a really huge amount of risk here. Like, Wims is dead. He's getting flattened. Um... Wimps switches into Kyogre. I'm fine with the Glacial Lance and Kyogre. Gyro Ball. I don't think this will kill. Lorantis is slow as hell. Never mind, it'll kill. Dude, Lorantis sucks. What the hell? Is... This Pokemon is terrible. <laughs> That's unreasonable. That's so unreasonable. Um, okay. So my play here, I'm pretty sure, is I side proc and just go for a Glacial Lance. Um, that way, even if Ferrothorn goes for an Iron Defense here, which I think is... Uh, I guess it's Gyro Ball, maybe not. I still think we go for Side Sneak onto Kali. Um, there's honestly a chance this just takes out Kyogre. Side Sneak. Iron Defense with Ferrothorn would be perfect here. Ah, uh, there's Gyro. Okay, so I didn't need to do that. Why is that doing so? Is that banded? That's gotta be banded, right? Glacial Lance. So Ferro's dead. I think Ogre might be dead for this as well. Bonk. Mmm, that's annoying. Click Water Spout. Do it, click Water Spout. Ice Beam? Huh? That isn't a good play. Um. <laughs> okay. So what's left then? Did you break my disguise, which doesn't mean I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Reggie Drago. Oh, these, are, these are normally short. Oh, this can't hit Mimikyu either. Wait, that's... Who's in the back? Wins. Okay, um, I mean, there's Lance here. And then... I mean, I have no reason not to just sneak here. Right, how many turns left on Trick Room? One, okay. Um, this is double protect, right? I don't think that changes anything. Um, I still look to do this. Reggie protects. Okay, protects. Yep, fine. Um, I think the Mimikyu just wins now because I can I can just sneak over. Um, um Oh, I think I just sat Kali here, right? Because Regidrago can't hit Mimikyu, because it's probably only got dragon moves. That's how Regidrago normally works. Um, so I can sneak that slot. I guess I press Glacial Arts in case they do something stupid, but... I think worst case here is Regidrago knocks out my Calyrex. Um, I take out the Ogre with Sneak. Or they switch, that's the other option. Um, So 
I wish you play with that slash, at least that's really obvious. Oh, maybe I don't actually auto win here. Um, oh no, I do. I just hit Winner's Cop. I just. Um, yeah, I want to keep Reggie Drago on the field, weirdly. Um, I T bolt the whims, and I'm going to play her off the whims. As long as Wimscott goes down here, I'm fine. They could protect Wims and KO my Regilecki, but Kyogre's in sneak range and Regidrago can't hit me. They do protect Wims, I don't care. Actually gone for an Electra over there with Reggie Lucky. So I might have picked up the whims. Oh, I could have gone sneak and play. No, I couldn't because if they tailwinded, I'd have been dead. Um, um, they're off. Again, I just need to ignore the Reggie Drago slot here. If they get double protect and Whimsicott, I think I might lose. But or I miss my player off. They'd have to double protect Whims and switch Ogre here though. Yeah, they switch an ogre. Please don't get double protect. Moonblast is never killing from here, so I can just sneak over until until the end's over, right? Moonblast, just hit your player off Mimikyu. All you have to do is hit a single player off here. Thank God. Okay, oh, I think that's game there. Reggie Drago switching there tells me it doesn't have anything to hit me with because we know it's not choice, so they're not switching out to break a choice lock. Um, which makes me think they only have dragon moves. Because um, if they had Ancient Power, surely they'd go for it that turn, right? And just chip away at me. That last me maybe it'll be Hyper Beam as well. Um, yeah. Dude, Miniki just 3v1 that. <laughs> what a beast. The perks of Shadow Sneak and good defensive typing. Okay, 1-1 one one with that team. That's not bad. Um... I think he actually did surprisingly good work there. Lorantis just kind of... What, are, what even are Lorantis' stats? Does Lorantis have stats? I'm beginning to think it might not, because it kept dying to things I thought it shouldn't be dying to. Like, this thing's so slow and it just died to a durable. Lorantis. Yeah... Eh. I wonder what the calc is on that. Uh, let me get my damage calculator up. So there we go, Ferrothorn. I have a feeling that Ferrothorn was choice banded. Um, Ferrothorn. There it is. Against Lurantis. What? Oh, that's okay, brave. Zero ID. And two, two. Yeah, the Jarple's only 65 base power. I actually don't know what the spread is on Lurantis, so I imagine the max HP. Um, so I think that must have been choice banded. Oh, that was a high roll on banded Ferrothorn. That hurts. <laughs> Wait, I'm probably min speed as well, aren't I? Wait, how does, am I not min speed on this Lorantis? I was slower than Calorax. Yeah, that must have been high roll choice band Ferro Gyrable. I don't know what the, the spread is actually on um, on the Lorantis. Maybe it wasn't, but. I imagine I have no reason to be anything other than max HP, max attack. That's a little unfortunate, but... Oh, um... Right, that is that for the first episode of this week. Um, Mimikyu is an absolute champion in that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you everyone for, for tuning in. Like I said, I'll, I'll link um, this team's creator's Twitter in the uh, in the description. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will I will make sure to have them credited. Um, as always, uh, if you enjoyed the content, please do leave a like, uh, sub if you haven't already, uh, and go follow me on Twitch. Uh, I stream there a few times a week, apart from the next couple of weeks where I will not be streaming there very often because I am going to be busy with a whole bunch of stuff. Because um, I've got, what, I've got, what, I'm busy, this is Monday as of recording, so I'm busy this evening, busy tomorrow evening, 
I might stream on Wednesday, but I think I'm also busy on Wednesday. I'm probably busy on Thursday as well. And then my girlfriend's down on Friday for the whole weekend. And then I'm busy Monday, Tuesday. I might also do Wednesday. And then busy Thursday again, Friday, I don't know. Yeah, basically I'm not streaming much in the next couple of weeks. But I stream more frequently. Like once I've moved, because I'm moving house at the end of next week. Once I've moved house, I'll be back to streaming pretty regularly. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, follow me everywhere, sub here, whatever. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.